All right. Don't need to sugarcoat it. You all probably know if you watched it, the few minute few that probably watched the video, is the audio sounded really bad. Um, I want to apologize for that audio check. I'm refilming this uh, NASCAR review to just let you uh, know um, that the audio messed up and it sounded really bad. I apologize for that. But anyhow, welcome to the new review. We're going to talk about the Big Machine Vodka 400, also known as the Brickyard 400 from Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Let's get into it. And I'm going to tell you right now, this race was insane. It was crazy. And just a lot of chaos that took place in this race. Just going to go through and talk about the race. So, we're going to talk about what happened in the race. And then we'll go through the results. And then we'll talk about um, the, those 16 playoff drivers. And talk about a lot of other j stuff that you need to know. So, first of all, there were four drivers that we were focusing on in this race. Um, that being uh, Jimmy Johnson, Daniel Suarez, Ryan Newman, and Clint Boyer. Those are the four drivers that we're focused on today for the playoffs. But there was a lot that happened in this race, and we'll get in, in into that. So we took the green on, <coughs> on lap one, and Kevin Harvey basically took off on the start of the race. First caution race would come out for Daniel Suarez. He got into the outside wall because he got a little bit loose. He hit it once, and then he hit it twice. And that brought out the first caution of the race. Then after that, pit stops uh, took place. And uh, there was a lot of craziness on pit road. I'm just going to go through everything that happened. So we got to pit road. Jimmy, We see Jimmy on pit road doing his normal pit stop. Then all of a sudden, you see Bubba Wall stop next to him. Chase Sunley spun out right behind him. You got Austin Dillon and, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. with damage. And you got Mark Church Jr. with damage. As Jimmy's coming off of pit road, you see more stacking up happen. Hemrick's stacked up. And Kurt Busch has got damage on his left rear. So, yeah, there was a lot of chaos on the first pit stop. And because of this, Truex got a lot of damage. And he went quite a few laps down. And Kurt Busch also had damage on the car as well. When we went back racing on the first, second lap of the race, Kurt Busch came out for road to check up on that, up, up, on that, on that damage. Then Kevin Arc pretty much uh, took off with the race lead, and he started pulling away. Um, on the and then the next caution race came out, um, which was on lap 43. Came out, uh, Landon Castle basically wrecked off of turn one. He hit the wall on outside wall really, really hard. Glad to see him get out of the car okay. I like when I don't like it when drivers are hurt. That's just so you know. Went back racing with uh, four laps with. Uh, Four laps to go in the race, and with two laps to go, not race, stage, um, Brakoslowski and uh, Eric Jones basically wrecked. Uh, Eric Jones got a little bit sideways, um, got a little sideways. He got into Brad and collected him. Brad went back up onto the into the outside wall. Eric hit the outside wall really, really hard. Brad hit the inside wall really, really hard, got into the tire barriers, and this would take both of them out of the race. Brad had some choice words for NBC, some questionable words toward them saying some things. I know what they were talking about. Brad, I guess, didn't get it, com get it completely. But yeah, I understand Brad being upset and being frustrated. It's like, why do we have that there? <coughs> that's just Brad's opinion. And that's just opinion on Eric Jones and all that stuff. Because of this, the caution came out, end of the stage came out. And there was also some strategy that took place during there. So, Joe Logano, who stayed out, won the stage. Uh, Kyle Larson got second. Harvick, third. Ryan Blaney, fourth. Ryan Newman, fifth. Jimmy Johnson, sixth. Kyle Busch, seventh. Abe was anyhow in ninth. Alex Bowman in tenth in the stage was uh, Chris Buescher. Uh, like I said, uh, Ryan Newman and Jimmy Johnson got some very important stage points. Clint Boyer was not in there, so Johnson gained five points on Boyer there. But he had to also get um, by uh, Ryan Newman, and Newman beat him on stage points there in the first stage. So good and bad for Johnson at the same time. Went back racing um, seven laps, seven laps later after they had the red flag due to cleaning it up. It took a little while to clean it up, but eventually they got back. Went back racing on lap 57, and the race leader was Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick basically took off, and then uh, the and then we had green flag pit stops, and Kyle Larson took the race lead, and then he had to pit it. And then Joey Logano and Jimmy Johnson decided to stay off. Unfortunately, during Kyle Busch's uh, pit stop, basically he uh, blew up coming out of pit road, down the back stretch, had smoke coming out of the car, and he ended up stopping and was slowing down going into turn three. He was able to make it to pit road. 
Um, unfortunately, stopped in pit road, and because of this, and it was a safety issue, this would bring out the fourth caution race, and also would bring out the caution with uh, with uh, ten laps to go in the stage. And because this Kyle Busch's day would end, and Kyle Busch's luck continues to be bad, and he will not win his third stage. Yeah, because of this, uh, that brought out the caution to go, and kind of maybe some strategy took place. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, a couple guys decided, I believe, to come come down pit road. Went back racing with uh, five laps to go, and there was a, a caution that came out with uh, four laps to go for some debris in uh, turn two, big, big one sheet of metal that went across uh, the across uh, the back stretch. Unfor I was surprised that they ended the stage because of this, but I guess what I heard a report later was that, uh, that apparently someone shattered it. I guess that could have happened, but I, I really I really don't know. And because of this, uh, the stage ended, and Kevin Harvick was able to win the stage. Kyle Larson finished second in the stage. Uh, Ryan Blaney third. Joe Logano fourth. Fifth was Clint Boyer. Sixth, Daniel Suarez. Seventh was Kurt Busch. Eighth, Jimmy Johnson. Ninth, William Byron. And tenth was Eric Amarola. Johnson got more points than Newman, but unfortunately, uh, those three got pretty critical stage ones, and Boyer pretty much was pretty much locked in at this point unless uh, he uh, had a uh, Trump unless Boyer had some issues and where he was running he would have made it to the next round basically went back racing with 40 with 55 laps to go and then the biggest moment of the year and it's not a good moment took place Jimmy Johnson was battling on the inside making him trying to make a move and William Byron unfortunately kind of crowded him down. And because of this, Jimmy went back up to the ra up the racetrack, and unfortunately, Jimmy Johnson ended up wrecking and causing a big wreck. This would take out others like Kurt Busch, Paul Menard, Chris Buescher, um, the eight of Daniel Hemmer, Parker Kligerman, and Matt Tiff would also get involved in wrecks. Some of them would continue, others wouldn't. And because of this, Jimmy Johnson would be eliminated from the playoffs with 56 laps to go. And for the first time in his, in his illustrious and incredible, credible career, Jimmy Johnson is not in the playoffs. <coughs> and it sucked because I was rooting for him to make the playoffs this year. It just wasn't meant to be. The year has been so stressful and such a bad year. And he had 25 previous races to do stuff and, and just not see him in the playoffs. So kind of blows my mind and it sucks to not see him get in. But it is what it is. He's got he's gonna try to go out with a bang this year, but not seeing him in the in the playoffs, it really, really blows and sucks. But yeah, Jimmy Johnson out of the playoffs, and he's the first one to be eliminated from the playoffs. Then we went back racing with 49 laps to go, and Ryan Blaney just had a fantastic restart because Kevin Hart for whatever reason decided to restart on the inside lane. Why would you restart on the inside lane? I really don't know. But I went back racing, like I said, with with uh, 49 to go. And uh, Kevin Harvick decided during this time to pit, and also Daniel Suarez also pitted um, during this time. And unfortunately for Harvick, he got a caution with 30 with 31 to go, and it was unfortunately one of the other cars that could have beat him in this race, Kyle Larson. Uh, Kyle Larson had a run, had got loose off the corner, and he spun out and went into the inside wall, bringing out the like the 10th or 11th caution of the race. Larson's day, unfortunately, because of this, would end. Went back racing with 26 laps to go, and Kevin Harvick took the, ra took the race lead. As they were coming off a of turn two on the race start, Alex Bowman got sideways, and he, <coughs> and he uh, hit the outside wall. He tried to save... <coughs> sorry. Glover was literally right there, almost got hit. Bowman tried everything he could to save it, and he was saving really well, and then he hit the inside wall. This to take Bowman out of contention for the race, which sucks for, for Alex, Alex Bowman. Went back racing with uh, 21 laps to go, and Kevin Harvick basically took off. As we're going into nonstop for NASCAR, um, Matt Tiff basically got dumped by Suarez. Uh, Suarez, I don't know if it was the air, maybe Suarez getting the air under... Um, Al, um, <coughs> Matt Tiff's uh, car. Apologies for all the car, by the way. But um, basically, I think Suarez may have gotten air under it and or just contact. And Tiff, unfortunately, unfortunately, his day was over. And Tiff was having a really good day. Top 15 run all race long. It's unfortunate it came to an end due to, to that. And it sucks. And it was a yikes, a yikes to say the least. 
Went back racing with nine laps to go, and it came to crunch time because it was basically Daniel Suarez or Ryan Newman getting in or getting out. One of those guys was going to get in, and one of those guys was going to get out. Basically, Suarez did not get a very good restart. Kevin Harvick also was the leader at this time. But Daniel Suarez did not get a very good restart. <coughs> he fell back, and it was hard to pass. And um, he couldn't get up there. And Ryan Newman, while he was falling back and losing positions, it wasn't enough. And unfortunately, because of this, Daniel Suarez will also not be racing in this year's playoffs. Ryan Newman will. And while this is going on, Kevin Hart basically took off and pulled away. And coming off the final corner, Kevin Harvick was able to score his second Brickyard 400 win, first for Stuart Haas Racing, and Kevin Harvick wins his third race of the year at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So yeah, that is the uh, review compacted a little bit more. Again, apologize, apologies for the audio issues. I believe they will they are fixed. Sorry about the audio issues. But anyhow, let's go through the results of the race because Kevin Harvick won. So Kevin Harvick won the race. Pretty straightforward. Had the best car in the field. Dominated 118 of 160 laps. No S and that's about it. Had the best car in the field. <coughs> Joe Logano second. Solid run day for him. Bubba Wallace. Let's talk about him for a minute. Very, very, very strong run. Good to see him finishing third. Uh, confidence booster for him. Um, great run for Bubba. Don't deny how good Bubba truly is. And good job for Bubba. Uh, William Byron, solid fourth place finish. Clint Boyer, fifth place. Solid run and locked into the playoffs as well. Denny Hamlin, sixth. Seventh, seventh, Ryan Blaney. Eighth, Ryan Newman. Enough to get in the playoffs to Ryan Newman as well. Ninth, Chase Elliott and Paul Menard with a top 10 run. Pretty solid. Good day for Paul Menard. 11th was Suarez, not enough to get in, which sucks, but he did everything he could. Sucks for Suarez. 12th was Austin Dillon. Uh, 13th was his brother, Ty Dillon. Ty Dillon got 13th. Not a bad run for him. 14th was Eric Amarola. Okay run for him. 15th, Chris Buescher. Saw a top 15 for him. 16th, Ryan Priest. 17th, Michael McDowell. Saw a top 20 runs for them. Matt Benno, 18th. Another solid top 20 run for Matt, Matty D. 19th, Corey LaJoy. Saw a top 20 run for him. And 20th was David Reagan. 21st, Alex Bowman. Ross Chastain got 22nd. Good run for him from a premium motorsports car. 23rd, Reese Sorensen. First time Spires finished in the top 25. Basically not being Daytona or Talladega. So congrats to him on that. Uh, Ryan C. 24th in his Monster Energy Cup Series debut for premium. Both premium cars finished top, 20, top 25. And 25th is BJ McLeod. 26th, J.J. Ealy. 27th, Martin Trick Jr. I'll know what happened. He got involved in the pit road. Scuffle. 28th was Garrett Smithley, 29th Josh Balicki. All four Rick Ware cars got a top 30, just so everyone knows. That's pretty awesome for them. And then 30th was Kurt Busch. 31st, Ricky Salas Jr. I believe he also got involved in the pit road scuffle as well. No, did he go on the wreck? I think he may have got involved with Jimmy Johnson's wreck, maybe. Or pit road scuffle, whatever. Um, Matt Tiff, 32nd. 33rd, Kyle Larson. 34th was Daniel Hemrick. 35th, Jimmy Johnson. 36th was, was uh, Parker Kligman. 37th, Kyle Busch. 30th, Brad Kozlowski, 39th, Eric Jones, and Landon Castle finished his last in 40th place. So now let's talk about the 16 drivers that will be in the playoffs this year. So Kyle Busch is going to be is the leader, will be the leader of the playoffs, and then it'll be Joey Logano, Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, Mark Trix Jr., Brad Kozlowski, Chase Elliott, Kurt Busch, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, William Byron, Alex Bowman, Eric Amarola, Eric Jones, Clint Boyer, and Ryan Newman will be your 16 drivers competing for your playoffs. So like I said, Ryan Newman and Clint Boyer are both locked into the playoffs. Unfortunately, Jimmy Johnson for the first time is not in the playoffs, and Daniel Suarez is 0 for 3 of getting in the playoffs. Yikes on Suarez. Jimmy's got another year. He can do it. I think he's going to do it. But yeah, congrats to these 16 drivers for getting into this year's 2019 playoffs. Congrats to them on making the playoffs. Anyway, so let me give you my opinion of the race. Chaotic race to say at the least. Uh, not No ifs and buts about it. Uh, like I said, the most chaotic race, I think, of the season. Um, I'm going to give this race of 8 out of 10. Straight forward 8 out of 10. Uh, there was points where the race was boring. You had a point where Larson and Harvick were really close to each other. And I think it made it entertaining. And what made this race kind of entertaining was there was a lot of craziness going on. As well as the fact that you had a uh, you had the playoff talk going on between those four drivers, and it, it made people stay and kept kept them interested. 
Anything else we made today's race um, kind of entertaining for me, despite it being the point where Kevin Hart had a forcing a lead, which I wasn't a fan of that. But um, <coughs> congrats to Kevin Hart going in, winning that race. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Again, I know it's the third time I said this, but again, apologize for the audio issues. I believe they'll, they are fixed now. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you can notify videos on my channel. And share this video out to family and friends. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Link description below for that. And uh, comment below your opinions on the race. What did you think of the race? Let me know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.